Okay, Adam, um, back to winning ways, 2-0 win over Cray. Uh, you have overall thoughts of the performance today, and especially clean sheet? Yeah, that's, that's the, the, the big thing for me. We, we spoke about it before the game. Um, you know, clean sheets are going to be important for us. And I think, um, you know, at home, to win games at home is going to be important now to end the season. We need to make it a real tough place to come. And, yeah, I thought it was another good performance. And, like I say, glad we got a couple of goals in, in the first half because I thought we had some chances again. Um, and, yeah, the, the clean sheet today is, is something to build on. We want to start getting more clean sheets. OK, um, Ollie Starkey. Young man, you you threw him in today. Um, pleased? No, oh, yeah, I thought you sh showed some really good signs on that right side, and um, wanted him to just go and play and, and be confident. And I thought we'd done that. He really, you know, took it to the left back, put some great balls in, and I'm you know, really pleased with what I saw. And um, you know, that's what I wanted, especially at home today. I just felt putting Miki in behind uh, Ollie and Deshaun. I think that those three together have been a bit of a threat lately, so I didn't want to disrupt that. Um, but with obviously. Um, Jasper and Coxie both missing at the moment. Um, you know, it, we had to play Tutty and, and, and Ollie on that right side, and yeah, I was pleased with what I saw. Okay, um, bit of a Ollie Pierce doing what he does best, puts the ball in the net this season, and Danny Barker, collector's item. <laughs> no, that's right, yeah. I thought, I thought the first goal was excellent. You know, my favourite goal was the ones that have cut back and just tapped him unopposed six yards out. Um, you know, best goals you can score for me and I thought thought we worked it really well um, yeah and then you know Jesse I thought showed a bit of quality with his delivery had a ball in the box and, and Danny's got that in the locker to be fair he's got a great great spring on him um, you know he's not the biggest but he really does um, time his head as well so it's probably something that he's got to add a bit more to his game um, to score more goals but no yeah delighted um, there's been a bit of interest in, in Danny lately and um, you know, delighted that we've uh, agreed now, hopefully, for him to sign a contract with us to the end of the season, which is which is a big big bonus. Yeah, um, obviously breaking news that one. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Cray, um, we felt that they they just didn't really offer anything in the final third. They sort of got up to sort of the final third and just just didn't didn't happen for them but I, I'd say that was more complimentary to our defence no yeah I thought I thought the defence uh, you know we were at it today I thought Luca had, had, had a good game I thought Joel in particular was really on the front foot and, and like mentally mentally sharp and anticipating where things would go today um, so really really pleased um, with their performance um, so yeah um, don't like to focus too much on the opposition I'm sure Danny will do that um, you know and but I still feel like their front players will cause problems to teams this year and, and like I say I wouldn't be surprised if they do go on a run and you know get a run of wins together um, and get a bit of momentum and get out of the position they're in because you know I think they you know Dickerson's school that tricky before um, you know still creates on me that performance that day so <laughs> Yeah, I remember it well. Um, so he, yeah, he's, he's still he's still got that in the locker. So I think you know they they will show um, signs of what they got. But yeah, I just like to focus on us, and I thought our defence was excellent. Yeah, and obviously Callum Killing coming back and uh, came on substitute second half uh, does what he does best: holds the ball up, lays it off. Pleased? No, yeah, definitely. I think it gives us uh, another option. Um, like I say, Miki. Ollie and uh, Adation have been performing really well, um, but now to have, you know, Cal and, and Tom Chalet behind and pushing them, um, you know, really does bolster that end of the pitch. And I think he showed signs today of, of what he's about. Good bit of movement to, as soon as he come on, he dropped short and then spun him behind, and then Harrison picks him out of a great kick. And you know, I think it's, it's, it's good good addition at this stage. Um, Gives a bit more firepower up top, and you know he's a, he's a great lad, great character. Um, really wants to work hard, and you know you're going to get that from Cal. Um, and also, I think it helps. He knows a lot of the boys, knows what we're about, and you know that settling in period shouldn't take so long. Yeah. Uh, so Harringay Borough away Tuesday night. They drew three three today against Bognor. Um, obviously, it's going to be a different sort of test. Do you think? Yeah, of course it is. Um, like I said. It was a tough test when we went there last time, so we'd be under no illusions that we've got to perform as well as what we've been doing lately to get anything from that game. Um, and that's, that's all the focus will be on, we'll see how everybody is. But what we have got today, um, we've got 
a strong, strong squad. I think you know the bench we had today was arguably the strongest we've had all season, and um, you know they will be vying for a, a position on on Tuesday, and we're in a position where we can you know freshen it up if we need to. Um, so there's one or two knocks. I think Joel will see and Sam at the end there. Um, Tate got a whack on his calf as well. That's why he had to come off. So yeah, we've got to analyse, see where we are. But you know, delighted with the squad we got and. Everybody coming back to, to health is, is, is really, really promising mm. at this stage of the season. OK, and obviously the team's loss was my game today because I had uh, Dean Cox and Jasper Pattenko commentating. Jasper, yeah. Jasper thinks he, he might be ready for the Lewis Sussex Senior Cup game. So that, that's a bit of a brosy because we thought it might be after Christmas. No, that's right, yeah. He's, he's running and he's, he's ready to go. But yeah, I bet you think a word in edgeway second half with Jasper and Cox <laughs> here a long time ago. But no. Yeah, they're obviously two two big players to be, to be missing at, the, at this stage. But like I say the good thing is we can rely on Ollie Starkey to come in and, and perform how he did today. And you know I think there's a lot more younger players that we've got in our squad that can can do the same. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll, we'll see you Tuesday, Harrington. See you Tuesday. Cheers, Adam. Cheers, Pete. Thanks.